Data packs for Minecraft 1.20.1, how do you download them and install them? Well, that's what we're going to go over in this video. And one of the cool things about data packs is you actually don't have to install anything else but the data pack and obviously vanilla Minecraft, right? You have to have Minecraft installed. But once you've got Minecraft, you just download the data pack. You don't have to install a mod loader or anything like that. So, first things first, let's download some data packs. In the description down below, the second link down below, we have this. This is our list of the best data packs for Minecraft. Most of these are updated to 1.20.1 without any issues. Vanilla Tweaks being one of them. We'll go ahead and grab that one. Another one that I really like that's on here, this is just kind of cool, is called Plush Pets. So we're going to go ahead and grab this one as well. Now Plush Pets is on CurseForge. A lot of data packs will be on CurseForge. Click on Files here. Find the version you want for 1.20.1. Click the three dots and click Download File. And then the download will begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, how to message from our company, Simple Game Host. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGA to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, we have one-click mod pack support, easy installation of plugins, and if you want to add your own mods, just individual mods one by one, you can do that. And yes, you can even add data packs to your Minecraft server incredibly easily. If you do have any issues with your server along the way, we have live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. So start your server the simple way at Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Nevertheless, as you can see, Plush Pets has downloaded. Uh, for me, it's up here in the top right. It may also download at the bottom of your screen. Google Chrome has done some updates recently, so I don't know if it's up here in the top right with this little downloads icon, or if it's in the bottom. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Vanilla Tweaks is another one that we're going to be downloading here. This is a very, very popular data pack, uh, basically collection, and you can select the data packs that you want. We're going to go ahead and grab Graves here. We'll also go ahead and grab one more, which could be from down here at the bottom, actually, or something like that. For example, Anti Creeper Grief is a really really easy one but there are more down here so don't feel or don't be afraid to look through these as well once you've got them click download on the side here and click direct download that little arrow there and click direct download and then it will download them right like so as a as you can see here the zip file let's go ahead and minimize our browser we want to move these files to our desktop because we need to make sure we don't need to change anything about them i'll show you what i mean here in a second so if we grab them out of our downloads folder and move them to the desktop we can see that plush pets seems to be okay but Vanilla Tweak says unzip me. Generally, I would recommend going ahead and just double clicking on these and you should be able to see if it when you open it up It says data and things like that pack.mc meta. It's good to go But if you double click for example on vanilla tweaks, it doesn't say that so we want to go ahead and unzip this How do you do that? Well right click on it click on extract all and click extract It's then going to extract it right like so you'll have a new folder appear Open that folder and in here you'll find your data packs drag these to your desktop so as you can see, we have two separate data packs here now, Anti Creeper Grief and Graves. Double clicking on these shows us that they are in fact correct with that pack MC meta in there. Nevertheless, we've now got our data packs. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Once we're in Minecraft, data packs are on a per world basis, meaning that if we were to add them here to our break the breakdown seed world, they wouldn't show up in our simple game hosting world. They're only going to be in the world that you specifically add them to. We're going to go ahead and add them to this simple game hosting world. To do that, just select the world right like so by clicking on it one time, not double clicking, that'll launch your game, just click on it once, and then click edit down here at the bottom. Then we want to come in here and click on the open world folder button here. When we click on that, it's going to open our world folder. In here, you'll have a data packs folder. Right there it is. Double click on this and you can drag and drop your data packs from your desktop into the data packs folder right like so. Now when we come back in game, we can click save and then launch up the world and the data packs are installed. They're installed in most cases. You might need to do the slash reload command, which if you have cheats enabled, you can just do. I do, so I can just do slash reload. And we have absolutely no problem. As you can see, it said reloading, we're good. But if you didn't have cheats enabled, that probably wouldn't have worked. So you wanna go ahead and hit escape. Click open to LAN and make sure you turn on allow cheats here and then click start LAN world. That will allow you to run that slash reload command. From there, the data packs we installed are one anti creeper grief. Let's go ahead and test that one. That's pretty easy. We can get a creeper here. We can place it down and then uh, we want the creep. Oh, we're in peaceful. One second. There we go. If we go ahead and place the creeper down now, we can do our game mode survival. That creeper will blow up and it won't do anything because, well, we have anti creeper grief turned on. Cool stuff there. Now, what about the other data packs we installed? Well, one of them was Graves, and that means we need to uh, fly up in the air here and uh, unfortunately go into survival. It's a bit brutal, but it will show us whether or not the Graves data pack is working, and as you can see, it dropped down from the sky there. Um, I believe we can even come in here and easily teleport back now because it gives us our death location, which is nice. Nice little feature that this adds in. Now, 
One more that we added was the plush pets data pack and I don't know the commands on that So just let me do a quick jump cut to figure out exactly how to use that data pack So in order to actually find these you need to find them in like a loot table I was able to find this one in a shipwreck. They seem to be in all sorts of different structures it Wasn't too hard to find but then to animate it you hit it with a potion of weakness and I believe give it a glistening melon my, my, it might not seem to be working here. Maybe we need to be in survival to do that. But uh, yeah, there it is. There is the uh, plushy. Maybe some some bugs with this data pack. Not exactly sure. But um, there we go. And now it is alive. <laughs> awesome stuff. So that is how you can uh, use use this uh, plush data pack, which is pretty cool. So uh, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give the a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. My name is Nick. Enjoy your data packs, and I'm out. Peace.